First at six, two separate rallies in Central Bucks School District stirred up a lot of emotions today. Parents, teachers, students, and taxpayers all had very strong opinions whether students should return to school in the fall. WFMZ's Ellen Kaloje has more from Doylestown. Open our schools! Open our schools! When some parents and students heard the Central Bucks School District decided to go completely virtual, they gave that decision a big, fat F. I was very upset, along with my eight-year-old son, who broke down crying about how much he wants to go back to school and wants to have recess and play with his friends and just be a kid. I wanted to go back to school fully in person and not sit on a screen all day. The superintendent says they just don't have enough staff to open the schools safely. But these protesters aren't buying that and say the district needs to do a combination of in-person and online learning. We're here to say that the children should be back to school, enough video games, enough playing, watching TV. Just a few blocks away, students organized another rally to show support for the district and the teachers. This isn't their fault. The administration is not their fault. They made some choices. It was tough choices, but they're listening to the advice they get, and they're doing the best of the situation, just like we all are. It warms my heart to see how these guys, I didn't teach any of these guys here, but um, it really, congratulations to you guys for being so involved, and uh, you guys have a great future. You know, we need more people like you, so thank you very much. So these students say they absolutely understand understand the other protesters point of view but again they say they're just trying to show their love and support for their teachers in Doylestown Ellen Kaloje 69 news